During this class, we are going to implement a new factory, this time for the category model. In fact, the category model is very simple because I only have two possible attributes. So let's go directly to our code in the factories file. Let's to copy this. This time we are creating a factory for the category. Remember to import the definition. We don't need this. And basically we just need a name and a description. So now the name for the category is not going to be a name because this is a name for persons or users. So we are going to use a word. And for the description, we are not going to use a word. We are going to use a paragraph, only one paragraph. So with this, we are creating categories with a name, with a random word, with a description that is going to be a paragraph, only one paragraph, and we are done. We can continue in the next class with a interesting factory. See you there.